Perfect. All right. I think we are finally live. We've been sitting here setting up some great stuff. But anyways, we're really excited to be here. Welcome, everyone, to Live at Epifan. It's Thursday at 3 o'clock. As usual, we are here to talk about something cool related to live streaming and video. And uh, I have a very special guest, which I'm super excited for. <laughs> the man behind, normally, behind the curtain, Adam Palmer. Welcome. Thank you very Welcome. much. It's been quite a while since yes. you've been on the show. We don't have any drones this time, though, which is a bit of a bummer. We couldn't work that in. <laughs> but we have I'm another thing. I'm working on getting that in. <laughs> yeah. But we have something else that I think is really cool and is kind of up your alley in terms of neat stuff. Yeah. Um, First of all, people are probably looking at us going, where are you guys? Like, what is this set? What sort of investment did Epifan make to build this awesome studio literally in a week? Well, we didn't. We are borrowing this studio this week. Um, and we are in uh, a studio space that our friend and the producer today, Jeremy, built in a uh, co-working space, essentially. And it's, so it's a studio that people can come and book and borrow and use and we're going to be talking to jeremy in a moment all about that um so adam what did you think coming in here when you first walked through that door uh it was amazing it, it, it blew me away um <laughs> i immediately took a photo to send my girlfriend and i thought this photo looks incredible but <laughs> i know it wasn't me or my phone it was the lighting in here and just the uh, the setup of the set looks so nice and yeah. uh yeah just Really impressed, and yeah, we're going to show yeah. you guys a little bit later on just how cool this place is. Exactly. We'll show you a little bit of what Jeremy's done here. Pretty magic, actually, and really, I my first reaction was, man, can we like just take this back to the office at the end of this? Like, this is great. I love it. <laughs> this is not a green screen, folks. This is this yeah. is live. <laughs> yeah, yeah, real fake plants. Um, but, <laughs> but I guess the other question is, why are we here? Like, why did we decide to come here, check this out, and learn it? I guess the main thing is, obviously, Jeremy's been doing tremendous work with us here at Epifan. Yeah. Um, and some of you eagle-eyed viewers probably will notice <laughs> just in front of Adam is a Pearl Mini. Uh, it is kind of the centerpiece of the studio. It's right, and it's there. It's literally embedded in the table. Um, and Jeremy's going to tell us a little bit more in a moment about why that is, how that is, and what it does for him in this space. Um, and we'll go through some of those other details behind the scenes as well. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, the studio's basically, you know, not to toot our own horn, but kind of somewhat powered a little bit partially <laughs> by Epifan. And, and we're really proud to partner with Jeremy on that because we know it makes this so easy for his for his guests and his users, which is, which is awesome. Um, so we'll get more walkthrough on that. But also, I mean, th th we saw pictures of this, and I was just like, man, we got to go. We got to do a show from there. Yeah. Like, this is just incredible. So, um, like this table, man, this live edge. Like, it's beautiful. Just... And, and the way that these <laughs> accents light kind of bounce off of there, reflect, uh, it's just, it's, it's yeah. gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll break down the details more in a moment. Why don't we bring Jeremy in and we'll talk to Jeremy a little bit about what's going on here. So Jeremy, are you there? Hey, how's it going? Good, good. So, Jeremy, welcome to your own studio remotely, which has got to be a little interesting. Um, it is. Jeremy, you've you've been on the show before. We've we've talked to you before about things like this, but that was your old studio, and mm -hmm. you told us you had some secrets in the works. Well, I guess now we're sitting in that secret. So maybe introduce yourself and introduce what is this magical place we're sitting in. Yeah. So. I guess uh, I guess everything started with one studio that's that uh, my older studio, uh, which ran uh, mainly with black magic stuff and uh, we had a producer in the background. so we we had to have an employee there. We had to have somebody all the time with the guests and all that. and and it was good. It was really good uh, content that came out of that. But I really wanted to upgrade and and this is partially when I met uh, like Dan from Epifan. Uh, and and all the team from Epifan, and then they were like, oh, do you want to try this gear? And and so so all that came about that you know I I actually had to um, had the chance to try the the Pearl Nano, Pearl Mini, Pearl Two, and I realized that I could do so much with that Pearl that I could yeah. automate that you know a little bit like the lecture capture that that Epifan does um, and a lot of schools around the world use. Uh, it's the same thing, right? It's one touch button for the guest. They record their stuff. I get it. I send it to them and I edit it 
uh, in the background, or we can do live shows like we're doing right now. Uh, so, so really that, I mean, yeah, the studio has been just, just amazing, right? Like it's, uh, I think I, I put a lot of effort in that specific studio because I wanted something that was really broadcast quality, really high quality, really good. And, and with the gear of Epifan, like it just, it brought everything together and everything's automated. It's, it's super cool. So I guess that the, really the underlying question then is, I mean, we're all nerds about this stuff. We all, we all love the gear and all that, but, but why, like why build a studio to begin with? Um, you know, what, what were you looking to offer people? Yeah. So at first I, I saw like, I mean, a, a lot of people need, want to create content, but uh, you know, they, like, there's a guy that called me like a couple of days ago and he's like, Oh, I bought all these cameras and I bought this switcher. I don't really know what I'm doing, but like, and then I'm just like, like, I don't want to tell him like you've, you've wasted money because that's not it, but it's, it's a big learning curve right. to get really high quality products, right. For, for video production. So the studio is a way for people to to do that without spending all the money and without uh, needing all the knowledge, right? Because setting up a camera is not necessarily simple. Yeah. Uh, you can shoot with your phone, like that's that's it's simple. But to yeah. to get good quality, <laughs> but to get good good quality, uh, you know, you need you need the like the producer in the background. You need the help right. of professionals to really bring it forward. And like like you can see the studio now, like the 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 sound is really crisp. Uh, it's not echoey. It's it's I think it's really good. So so just to have all that quality in there for a really low price. Uh, what's kind of the idea for anybody that can come in and just just create a reel or create a podcast or create anything that's high quality right. with, a, uh, with the, the touch the of a button investment, I guess, is kind of a big thing. Exactly. Exactly. So who who is this for? I guess, you know, you said these people want to create content. What who are these people that, that you're finding really have been making use of the space and, and been really successful? Yeah, so um, at first, I would say that a lot of uh, sorry, I'm, I'm switching the show at the yeah. same time. Obviously, <laughs> I'm just I'm just gonna put my lower third on. Uh, <laughs> at first, uh, it's like uh, I've, I've met a lot of real estate agents. So it was really popular for real estate agents, mortgage brokers, just because they're uh, basically freelancers. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, they have time daytime and, and entrepreneurs, freelancers, it was really good for them because they really want to get out there. Um, so, and, and they love the idea of doing podcasting and all that stuff. And then it goes to, to really anybody that wants to create content for their channels or, or people that wants to, um, like a lot of people want to create a, like a podcast, right? A two person podcast, like conversational. Uh, a lot of people think that there's no necessarily money in it. <laughs> right. But but there but there is but you have to be really creative how you get that that money and it's usually more like into sponsorship uh, and things like that um, to get your growth because you're not gonna get money right away from <laughs> from YouTube right? right it's 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 a little hard but you you can you can definitely brand your business through YouTube you can definitely create a lot of content and so I think it's it's anybody that wants to create video content. Um, and has a story to tell. Awesome. Awesome. Adam, yes. I know you love all this stuff. Um, you're, like I said, you're usually the guy doing a lot of this production. That's right. Um, you know, so Jeremy's not even in Canada. That's right. He's in Amman, Jordan, which is all the way across the world. Um, and this really makes this a, a true hybrid style event. I mean, we, you know, we're here and he's in Amman, Jordan, and, you know, we could be bringing in other guests too. So I know that the Pearl is not just the heart of that remote kind of uh, workflow, is it, Jeremy? There's, there's other kind of tools in the background that you're using to kind of work with the Pearl to kind of make this remote studio happen. Yeah, so, um, I mean, the Pearl is like the heart of it um because it you know it lets me control everything from a distance uh and it's also very easy to use for all the clients right um after that it goes to uh, a new computer through ethernet um so all the the footage is transferred into a Nook computer um right after the recordings um so that's that's super because i get and a backup the, right the after follow upload feature on the pearl is that right 
Yeah, exactly. So automatic file upload to a folder on a computer. Uh, and then what happens with uh, a thing called RoboCopy is like just um, a little piece of code that's going to basically send um, all my files from this X folder to a Google Drive automatically every night. So every night I get a backup on a Google Drive. Um, and I can now share this, this, these files to all my clients and all that stuff, right? So it's, it's kind of really, it's a really simple setup when you think about it. That's great, and I, I imagine you you take use of Epifan Cloud as well to kind of, at a glance, see the state of the recorder and maybe just launch a streamer recording quickly if you had to. For sure. For like right now, we're we're, we're streaming. Uh, we're actually it's it's kind of complicated, and you guys maybe talk about it more. But we're basically we're we're taking the Pearl Mini, we're streaming that out. We're using Epifan Cloud, obviously, to to switch, uh, and then we're streaming that out to Unify or Cloud Switcher, and then uh, we're switching even more stuff on Unify. I'm coming in through a Teams meeting through Epifan Connect, so it, it is a very hybrid situation right now. Uh, but yeah, Epifan Cloud, without Epifan Cloud, it would, uh, I think it would be a mess. Like, uh, it would be hard to do from here. And now I get like, uh, I get notification when the system is down, I can just call somebody, get it reboot or reboot it myself. So it's, it's really, uh, it's really handy. Yeah, no, I, I mean, we mentioned this is very much truly a hybrid thing because you know we're using unify as a cloud-based production tool we're using connect to bring in jeremy and then of course adam and i are here in person so i mean like this is for anybody who watched our connect launch party last week right we talked about how useful it is for hybrid events we're demonstrating that right now like this is literally what we were talking about except you can scale it as big or as small as you might right. want right yeah. this is what it's all about is the fact that we can do this in person and that's great but again Jeremy's in Jordan. We could bring him in just as though he's here, have a conversation, mix and switch and do everything in the cloud. And obviously Jeremy's doing that work right now, but someone else could be doing that work invisibly in the background. And Usually it, it's me. Exactly. It's, <laughs> you make it really easy. So this is really impressive. So what we're going to do, Jeremy, thank you so much. Um, we've been playing a little bit of video clips from you and some pictures that you have uh, in the background there. Uh, which are fantastic. So keep rolling those for a minute. I'm going to grab my B cam and we're going to do a little bit of a peek behind the curtain. Ooh. Adam, you're going to talk us through some of this stuff because I'm, I'll be honest, I love all this stuff, but there's things in here that I'm like, I don't really know exactly what that is. And I'm looking at, I just know it looks awesome. Um, so we're going to take a little bit of a peek behind Jeremy's awesome space here. So all right um, on. Okay. Well, George is going to get that camera set up here. Just uh, get ready to show everybody around. Oh, there's a nice shot of, of the of the studio and then the other side of the studio, what we're looking at. All right, so I think uh, George is, is ready. He's, he's gotten up. <laughs> hey there, everybody. <laughs> That's awesome. So yeah, as you can see, it's a really nice space. It's a great size. Um, you know, plenty of space for, for people to be back here. and. Um, really nice back area too. You have a confidence monitor. There's there's one of our writers, Eric or Ian, I should say rather. <laughs> I'll get it right one of these days. Um, we got some beautiful cameras here: Black Magic Pocket Cinema 6K. Beautiful, beautiful image. Um, and and even this area back here, this is all designed for good soundproofing. Um, you can see that there's you know these slats here, which kind of help the sound deaden a little bit, so it's not so live, so it doesn't bounce off everything. Um, and you know, just aside from these beautiful desks, right, which are in the shot, we've got some lights up there, which are kind of you know behind the scenes doing the work of making us look great, right? And you see those soft boxes on there; that's crucial for getting really nice flattering light on people. And then he's got some uh, he's got some kind of focused Fresnel type uh, lights up there, kind of spotlights. That's kind of providing the key light, giving us the majority of the light. And then we've got some nice fills coming in from the soft boxes around. And even even these uh, these kind of strip lights that you have here, give a give a kind of nice outline, give a little bit of a backlight. So, it's really beautiful. It's, it's really economical, actually. It's 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 not that many uh, lights, which is really nice. Um, so you don't get too hot in here, and it just looks really great. And when 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 the exposure is set so perfectly like this, using the lighting, the camera itself doesn't really have to do any work. That's kind of the the really nice thing about it. So it just makes it so easy to make uh, beautiful looking stuff. 
So he's got three cameras actually set up here, so we can get the the kind of close up, um, you know, medium shot here of the people talking. Then we got the wide uh, out there to, to give an overview of the studio. He's also done a lot of work with the soundproofing in the ceiling. Uh, carpet on the floor helps, so it's a really great sounding here. And that's kind of almost more important sometimes when you've got people talking, right? A lot of people will accept a lower quality video, but lower quality audio is, is not great. Okay, I think we may have lost George's camera there, so he's gonna try to figure out what's going on there, or maybe we'll just call that. But uh, yeah, this is this is the studio. It's incredibly impressive. Uh, great job, Jeremy. And yeah, we're you know we're a little jealous. This this looks really great. Uh, this is giving us definitely some inspiration, maybe for for something we could do in the future at, uh, at our studio. But it's it's just so nice that someone could come in here, walk right up to this pearl, hit a button, and they're off to the races. I mean, that's incredible. You know, myself being in production for. 20 years, it only takes one mistake to tank an entire, and trust me, I've made every mistake. <laughs> so I know the pain of that firsthand. It only takes one mistake to totally tank your whole, you know, days, day of shooting. So the fact that every little detail is taken care of here and, and all the, yeah. you know, I's are dotted, T's are crossed. It's uh, very impressive. Yeah. I'm back in my seat here and yeah, it's just, like you said, it's the tables. The fact that they're in the V formation means mm. that, you know, especially if we were doing this as a, as a, as a podcast, right, mm. which kind of this show is, but it means that we can just have a conversation talking, but we're not close together, so we're not getting weird crosstalk stuff. You know, he's using high-quality Shure microphones. Everything's wired and tucked and just perfect. Um, you know, all I was trying to show on the camera that all of the, the Black Magics all of their signals running into wall jacks, which is all yeah. hidden wired through conduits. So you can't trip on anything. Nothing's in the way. There's no wires invisible. anywhere around here. It's incredible. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's spotless. I've never seen such a clean. Yeah, normally you've got wires taped down on the floor. Exactly. And, like <laughs> things like that. Immaculate in here. It's it's fantastic. I mean, you probably saw it on the camera. It has a mirror by the door, so you can make sure you fix up and look sharp. Which you know, I that took kind advantage of. Thing. <laughs> um, and so it's, and you know, Ian has kind of been hanging out here lounging on a nice couch right and just being able to sit there and 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 listen to what we're doing making sure that we're somewhat on script but that never happens on this show <laughs> um, but but even as as that space for someone to hang out or yeah. you know if he had to cue us for something like, right. like there's just a nice area it's very welcoming it's a warm space and and yet the sound deadening is probably one of the things i'm most impressed with yeah and it's really important like we were saying earlier you know you got to sound good because especially i mean if you're doing a podcast forget about it but <laughs> even when it comes to video you got to sound good and it's just amazing that you know we can enable this kind of remote technology you can have the guy's studio with you know he's a, he's a world away basically and and the people are here so this really feels like the studio of the future yeah. I, I could say in terms yeah, of that I remote mean, this ability is, yeah i'm well you said it it's it's inspiring right like this is just it it is video it's exactly what we always try to talk about here at epifan right yeah video production simplified making it easy because if it's easy you'll use it and that's kind of exactly what's going on here is that this is a space that someone who doesn't have to know a lot about production they don't have to have 20 years experience like you have adam <laughs> or more in jeremy's case you know jeremy is a is literally a broadcast producer at a top level right yeah the, you don't have to have that because you know that it was designed by someone who did. Yeah. And so you can walk in here and just feel comfortable, work on what, you know, I, I say this all the time when I'm doing <laughs> webinars, right? My job as a presenter is to present. And if I don't have to worry about all this other stuff, it means I'm going to be able to do my job better as a presenter. Oh, yeah. And the, to me, that's exactly what this studio is all about. And studios like this that we're starting to see pop up as a trend everywhere. Like Jeremy mentioned it, that we're seeing just about every major university create spaces on campus like this for exactly the same reason. Yeah. And it's incredibly popular and it's super effective. And I would argue is definitely equipping people for the studios of the future, the jobs of the future, whatever you want to call it. And you, and you know, in your optimistic, uh, Thursday afternoon. Um, so that's great. Uh, I did see, uh, some people just, uh, saying on chat here, Marta says that we look amazing, which is great. Thank you, Marta. Thank you. Uh, our friend Sonoga <laughs> said hello from Uganda. It's great to see you, Sonoga. But if anybody has any questions, um, you know, about the studio or, or 
you know, if you happen to be watching in the Ottawa Gatineau area and you want to book this, I highly recommend it. Um, you know, we can definitely get you in touch with Jeremy and uh, he can get you booked in. You know, I, I could think of a ton of people I'm going to be suggesting to, just oh, yeah. to come here and get things going if they just need a promo video shot or they want to get a podcast going. Jeremy mentioned real estate agents. So many of them are doing this stuff to try and educate people. But it's beyond that. It's like every brewery is trying to do a podcast about beer now. <laughs> Why not? Why invest in it when this exists and it's going to be better? Yeah, it's a no-brainer to my mind because, like I was saying, all it takes is one mistake. And, <laughs> you know, even recently I made this mistake of getting so caught up in the mechanics of production <laughs> that I forgot to focus on the talent. And that's a killer, right? Yeah. And at the end of the day, a lot of people are going to care more about what the talent is saying and doing than – is the lighting perfect? So by removing that kind of burden of the mental <laughs> workload of worrying about the mechanics yeah. of production, it, it, it'll make the content just that much better, you know, beyond just looking good and, and sounding yeah. good. Yeah, exactly. So definitely um, earlier, one of our moderators threw in the link to our website for the case study we did with Jeremy all about these studios. So definitely check that out. Um, and uh, hopefully, I'll see if somebody can get Jeremy's uh, information thrown into chat as well here. I don't have it quite in front of me. That's my mistake today. Um, <laughs> but we'll, we'll get that in there. Um, we'll forgive you. And, uh, and yeah, we'll... Uh, We'll get that set up, and uh, and then you can check it out and book the space yourself if this is something that looks uh, like you can make use of it. And even if you're not in the Ottawa Gatineau area, hopefully you can be inspired by this and seek out uh, local studios in your own area that are popping up like this. Like I said, we're seeing this happen in uh, co-working spaces, right? Because it's a right. perfect fit for it and where yeah. it makes sense yeah. um, so that all those people leveraging that space have another tool uh in the toolbox so and, and hopefully maybe if you build one of your own you combine it with something like a pearl well, it's a no-brainer to use the pearl i mean it fits so perfectly it's in true. here yeah. especially when you make a table cut out for it you know you can't so go nice. wrong uh it's just so seamlessly integrated there which is which is really awesome it's a thing of beauty we love to see it and exactly. uh, yeah exactly. it's really making this a little bit special yeah and like i said i'm walking away jealous of the studio and 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 inspired so yeah we're gonna see what we can do but I think we're going to call it there. Thanks, everyone, for joining us. Uh, coming up on our next episode, which will be two weeks from now, which I think is October 20th. I don't know what day it is, but uh, I think it's around then. Um, we're going to have a special guest from Flowix joining us. Oh. Um, so stay wow. tuned for that. That's, that's going to be an interesting one. Uh, so it'll be a great interview with them. And as always, make sure to follow, like, subscribe, and all those places. If you missed our launch party last week for Epifan Connect, and you want to know what the heck is this Connect thing that these guys have been talking about bringing Jeremy in on, uh, check it out on our YouTube channel. It'll be the video basically posted just previous to this one, pretty much, um, to learn all about Epifan Connect and how it can help you enable your remote and hybrid productions and uh, especially in cool studios like this. So thank you so much. Thanks, Adam. It's been a long time. Thanks for having, having me. The show. Hopefully it won't be as long again. Um, <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll get you back in. There's so many cool drone things. We have to do another drone I, show. I've got a drone project. Um, yeah, so I'm working on something, hopefully, to show you guys in the future. So. Exactly. And just a couple people saying hi in chat. We see that Anani Mouse guy saying great show. And uh, <laughs> hopefully Love he's comfortable at home. Um, so that's great. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. We will see you next time. Bye-bye.